Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video we're going to be showing you how to create a table of contents. So you see I have a table of contents already set up here. And if we go into view, navigation pane, you can see that all the links work. And we have sub points and even sub sub points under those. So let's head back up to the table of contents and we're going to be showing you how to do it. So I'll just remove the table and start right from the beginning. So let's say I wanted to add in another header, just for demonstration purposes. And we have heading 1, heading 2, and heading 3. And these correspond with our TOC levels, our table of contents levels. If I go to modify, we can see that I have our numbering here, and that changed 2.1, and we have 3.1 down here. So it all updates. So I'll just name this Curiosity Structure 1. And I'll rename this to Curiosity Structure 2. So, say I wanted a subpoint under this, it would just be Heading 2, and we'll name it Introduction. So let's scroll back up, and we're going to insert our table, so we'll go to References, Table of Contents, and we can insert a custom table of contents or an automatic table of contents. So let's click this for now, see what's in here. So we can change our tab leader, right align page numbers, show page numbers. We can also change our levels of headings. But for this document, we only have three, so we'll just put it down to three. And we have options here. We can change TOC level, which is again just table of contents level. Say if my headings were messed up and I had my main point says heading two, then I'll just change it right here. But in this document, everything's formatted right. So we'll get out of that, and if we hit modify, we can see even more options. We can change the indentation, we can change all sorts of styles, fonts, and size of font. But for now, we'll just cancel out of here, and we'll just insert an automatic table as a demo. So there it is, everything's there, all our headers, all our points, I'll select all of this, and change it to Times New Roman so it fits the rest of the document. 12 point font, double space. And we'll also change this. So now it's formatted with the rest of the document. But say I wanted to add in another curiosity structure, or at least another point somewhere. So, let's just name this Curiosity Structure 2. And we'll rename the other one. So now if we scroll back up to our table of contents, we see that it hasn't updated. There is no Curiosity Structure 3. So, that's a problem. Let's update the entire table. And you can see we've lost all our formatting. So I'll Select all that, Times New Roman, 12 point font, and double space it. But I don't want to do this every time I had to update the table, of course. So that can be avoided by going back here. And it's because we used an automatic table. If we used a custom table of contents, then we wouldn't be running into that problem. So if we hit modify, modify, and then if we changed all of our TOC levels, then we wouldn't have this formatting problem. So this has been a How Tech tutorial. If this video has helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching.